going on out there all my time traveling misfits who are soon to become legends you're all legends already don't ever forget that this is mr dark phoenix here with my holy trinity to bring you guys another episode of legends of tomorrow if this is the first time you're catching my channel please hit subscribe i review legend of tomorrow arrow the flash gotham supergirl teen wolf 5b soon to be game of thrones i post my weekly theory show on wednesdays i post other kinds of awesome nerdy videos i don't want you guys to miss out on anything so like i said hit subscribe and tell your friends if you haven't I don't want you guys missing out on anything that I post. It's only going to get better from here. And if this is the first time you're catching my channel, this is going to be a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen Legend of Tomorrow, come back when you have. And if you have seen it, let's jump right on in to the newest episode of Legend of Tomorrow Blood Ties. First and foremost, these guys. My holy trinity. Well, minus you, buddy, because you're not even in that universe. But you've seen Men of Steel die and Dark Knights fall. Y'all care to explain y'all selves? Y'all know y'all ain't allowed to leave this room. So, I don't understand how y'all out of it. So, just, uh, just a thing. It's really, it's really fun to see how they name drop. And we all go into a crazy frenzy. Because now people are like, oh my god, Batman's in it! And Superman's in it! The Arrow Batman reference last week, when he was like, we would have called you Oracle, but that was taken... And just for the fact that they've always wanted to add Nightwing to the mix and all that stuff, I really feel like they are in there, but they're not. Because if we, if we, if they, if they confirm that like Batman and Superman, all the people, all the other people in it, no one's gonna give a shit about anybody else but them. So what they're doing is actually really smart. They're paying homage to them, but without actually confirming that they're there. I wouldn't want to know they were there yet. Honestly, we're still building a TV universe without them, so. That's just my thing. So, I mean, I still want to know how the hell that happened between you guys, but we'll, I guess we'll talk about that. I loved when Sarah went into her league training where, he was, where she was like, Ra's al Ghul taught me that if you, they, you can't kill your enemy, you have to destroy them. If you can't cut the head off, go for the heart. I'm like, Ra's al Ghul is such a poet. I was like, I don't know how they, how, how they snap at the poetry slam. Just like, open your minds to Ra's al Ghul. Adam plays Fantastic Voyage. <laughs> Fun fact, I only knew about that movie because The Simpsons spoofed it. So, it was actually one of the Halloween episodes. So, I was like, that movie looks familiar. Fantastic Voyage. The Simpsons. The Simpsons teaches you everything about life. Sarah's detective skills. She pulled out everything... Yo, I still think Sarah's like the, like the t definitely top five skilled people on Arrow, Legend Tomorrow, whatever you want to call it. Like, damn. All that league training all those years really paid off. She was like, she's got a silenced Beretta, they got mercenary tattoos, he's got a lesion because he's got starting with the sword. How do you know? Because I have that same lesion. Like, come on. And Sarah kicks so much ass, and it's just, I just love to see Sarah in her element of being that person. Like, honestly, she was like, I'm a kill. That's why I'm on this team. I know I've said that since Jump. Like, ever since maybe, like, the, 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 the first teaser trailer or, like, the first official trailer, I was like, Sarah's the Wolverine of this team. Because she's willing to kill and she has no problem with it. So, that's why she's there. That's why Wolverine was part of the Avengers at first. They were like, huh, we need a murderer. We need someone that'll make that extra step so none of us get our hands bloody. So, all in all, you know, it's always good to have a murderer on the team. Just saying. Let's throw that out there. Cold tries to change time. Oh my god, them feels. I felt so bad for Cold because he really tried to make things better for himself. <laughs> and his dad wound up still getting arrested. <laughs> It's kind of like what the Flash said, um, what, they, what they said on the Flash. Even if you change something that was supposed to happen, time will always find a way to fill that void. And he tried to help you talk to his younger self. He was like, don't you let anybody ever talk to you. This is like a lesson for everybody, actually. Don't ever let anybody hurt you here, and especially here. And he was, I, my favorite part was when he was like, listen, I know the kind of man you become. The only reason I'm letting you live is because my sister isn't born yet. And I was like... Go for Golden Glider. GG's for Golden Glider because I was like, and your sister, you can't kill him. Golden Glider, boom, got the shout out. 
And I, I found it funny how they were stealing an emerald, because when I did the reaction to the trailer, I thought it was kryptonite, because honestly, you see a big green rock, you just assume it's kryptonite. I'm, I'm not sorry about that. <laughs> you see a big-ass green rock in anything DC, you're just going to automatically assume it's kryptonite. So, it was an emerald they were stealing. So, it's cool. It's all good. Now we have a freaky hawk ritual. Kind of have like a giant blood orgy. And I was wondering, I was like, what the fuck? I, I kind of wondered last week why they didn't take his body with them, but I was like, whatever, maybe they'll explain it this time. Then they just explained it. Vandal took the body to perform a freaky 100-year-plus life ritual. Can I have some of that? What does Hulk blood taste like? I don't care. Give me 100 more years, and I'll just have some of my own. But now, during if you guys remember in the first episode, he killed that wife and that son because he knew who they were. So the first episode is still really far into the future if he succeeds. So, that's really how he knows them now. This dumbass told him, so it's fine. Rest in peace, Carter. Officially, you got a funeral, you got everything, and now we're gonna teach Shaira how to fight. I really hope that Shaira and Sarah have, like, a bonding moment. Cause, you know, she's gonna have to learn how to fight. There's nobody better on the ship that knows how to fight better than Sarah. So, I'm really hoping for that. My only concern for the show, my mom actually brought it up, uh, was uh, we we really hope that the show just doesn't have every week is just them catching him but not stopping him and just them doing stuff that doesn't involve not catching him. I mean, granted, I know that they're going to interact with other characters and they're going to do other stuff in the timeline, so I was really hoping that they treat it like, you know, like they would on Arrow or any other show where it's like, we know what the end game is, but we have to know how to get there. Like, remember Arrow Season 3 where it was like, we have to stop Ra's al Ghul, but... During that time, Sarah was killed, Thea was killed, uh, Oliver became Al Sahim, they plotted to destroy the city, and Oliver saved the city. So I'm just hoping that they just keep us interested, They keep it, and they keep it fresh with how we go to eventually learn what we need to learn to stop Vandal Savage, and then boom, we stop him. But we're going to meet people like Jonah Hex and Booster Gold and old Oliver Queen, so... I'm pretty sure they have this all settled out. I just don't want it to be the same thing every week. Um, just keep it a little bit different. But hey, it's a great show so far. So what can I say? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. Like I said, weekly videos, weekly TV reviews, all that types of goods. If you want to catch me on social media to know when my videos go live, you can follow me at the links at the bottom of the description. Or if you need to know what they are, they're going to be on the next page at the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. And always remember that through good times and bad times, remember to geek out and enjoy your lives. I'll catch you guys next time for another great video.